Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome you all once again to today's lesson, which is an interesting one. It's actually an event that occurred on the field of Badr during the fight or during the war of Badr, if you should put it that way. Popularly known as Gazwat Badr. It's an event that occurred there and Sheikh put it in a clear, simple language for us here. Okay. So he says, he names it Musabakatun, Musabakatun Baina Shakikain, Musabakatun Baina Shakikain. Musabaka, as we've explained in previous lessons, is competition. Competition. Baina between Shakikain. When we say Shakik, Shakik means brother, but Shakik means actually biological brother. As we have Akhun, Akhun, anybody who is good to be a brother can be called Akhun. A friend is Akh, but a friend is not a Shakik. Okay. You can have a brother, but it's a long family brother. That one you can call the person Al Akh. Okay. You say Akhi, my brother. But Shakik is a biological brother. That is one that you share family with, you share um, uh, parents with. So he says, Qala Sayyiduna Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. Um, our master, Sayyid, means master. Our Sayyid, Sayyiduna, our Sayyid Abdurrahman bin Auf, which was one of the um, companions, says, Qala, he said, Radiallahu anhu, Radiallahu anhu is a prayer that we attach to the name of a companion or a righteous person. When the name is mentioned, we attach Radiallahu anhu to mean may god be pleased with him okay so he says qala sayyiduna abdul rahman ibn auf radiyallahu anhu abdul rahman ibn auf may allah be pleased with him said kuntu waqifan okay he says kuntu kuntu waqifan yawma badrin okay so abdul rahman here is the one narrating and he says kuntu waqifan i was standing Yawma Badrin on the day of Badr Wagulamani min al Ansar Muazu Muazu ibn Afra wa Muawazu ibn Afra an Yamini wa Shimali. So he says, I was standing on the day of Badr, Yawma Badrin on the day of Badr Wagulamani. Gulamani is the dual of Gulam. Gulam means a young boy. Let's say a youth like that. Wa gulamani and two guys, min al ansar from the ansar is actually um, helpers, helpers. Like we have nasr helper, al ansar ansar is the plural which is helpers. It says wa gulamani min al ansar and this ansar was actually given to the people of Medina when the people of Makkah came to Medina as muhajirin. They came as people who have done hijrah. Then the people of Medina welcomed them. So the people of Medina were the Ansar, the helpers. So he says two guys from the Ansar, Wagulamani, min al Ansar, that is from the people of Medina, Mu'adhu bin Afra. One first one is called Mu'adhu bin Afra. And the second one is called Mu'awadhu bin Afra. And Yamini wa Shimali. I, they were standing, one was on my right and one on my left. An Yamini wa Shimali. One on my right and one on my left. Okay. The, the, now, the name Afra, Afra is used for a land that is bare. Nobody has stepped on it before. A land that is very bare. Such a land we call the land Afra. Ardun Afra. A bare land which nobody no foot has stepped on before okay afra we also say alayali alafra alayali alayali alafra this alayali afra is the name given to the white knights which we call layali uh, bid layali bid the white knights in in on the uh, moon uh, lunar calendar, on the lunar calendar, when it is 13th 
the night of 13th, the night of 14th, and the night of 15th, see the moon is very full and bright. And so we call this Layal uh, al or we say Ayyam al Okay, so those nights are called Al Layali Al Afra. Okay, Int most interesting meaning I want us to capture here Afra is used for a fair lady. Let's say a fair, nice lady, fair in complexion. Such a lady is also called Afra. So you say Imratun Afra, a fair, nice woman. Okay, so he says he was standing on the day of Badr, he was standing somewhere, and these two guys, Mu'ad and Mu'awad, were standing on his right and his left. Okay, says, Waltafata ilayya ahaduhuma. And one of them, ahaduhuma, one of them, or one of the two, iltafata, iltafata means to turn. Iltafata ilayya, to me, he turned to me. So one of the two turned to me. Waqala li, and he said to me, Waqala li, and he said to me, Sirran, secretly. He said to me, secretly. Min sahibi he. So here, what he means is that he said to me in a manner that the, his other brother will not hear. Waqala li, Waqala li, Sirran min sahibi he. He said to me, secretly from the, his other brother. So the one brother turned to him and said to him, said something to him secretly, said that the other brother will not hear. Sirran minhu, sirran min sahibihi. So you can say, Kul tu lahu sirran min al jama'a. I said to him, Kul tu lahu, I said to him, sirran min al jama'a. In secrecy from the crowd so that they will not hear. Can you say that way? So what he said, he said, I am. I, the expression I hear is called harf nida. It's used to call somebody. It's like ya, the way we say ya, and the way sometimes we use ah. And say in the poem of um, Imro al Qais, the poems that he used to write, those they said they hang on, the, they used to hang them on Kaaba. They are called the Mu'allakat, the hanged poems. He says in a bite there, he says, Afatima. Mahlan bada hadha tadalluli. He said, he calls Fatima and he said, Ah Fatima. Oh Fatima, kind of calling her. You can say Ya also. As we hear, uh, Ya Waladi, oh my son. Ya Waladi. Okay. You can, so in the same um, respect, I can be used. I, when we look at this, this popular letter or this popular message that um, her mama, if I'm getting the name right, wrote for her daughter on a wedding night. It's a very popular article that is treated in Arabic um, literature. She she uses the I a lot. She says, I bunaya, I bunaya. Oh, my dear daughter, I bunaya. So, I is used to call somebody who is very close. So, the guy said, the one brother said, I am. Am is my uncle. He says, I am, uncle. He says, oh, uncle. Hal tarifu Aba Jahlin. Hal tarifu Aba Jahlin. Do you know Aba Jahl? Then Fakultu Lahu. Do you know Aba Jahl? Fakultu. And then I said, Naam. Do Abdurrahman here responded, Yes. Wamada turidu minhu yabna ahi. Wamada turidu minhu. And what do you want from him? Yabna ahi. Oh, my brother's um, son. It can possibly be not his brother's son, like, but then he, since it is he is a boy, and he has a father. Of course, the father to him is Ah, is an Ah. So he says Yabna Ahi. Since you have called me uncle, I can say Yabna Ahi. So it is used. He says Nam. Wamada turi duminhu. And what do you want from him? I. What do you want from Abajal? Ya Yabna Ahi. Oh my, my brother's son. Okay. Kala, he said, Ukhbirutu annahu ya subbu Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ukhbirutu, I was informed. Or I've been informed. Ukhbirutu, I was informed or I've been informed. Annahu, that he, ya subbu, he insults. 
Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He insults the messenger of Allah. Peace and blessings be upon him. Yasubu is from Sabba. Sabba. To insult. Arinihi ya am. Show him to me. Arinihi. Show him to me. Ya am. O uncle. Fa inni a'ataitu Allah ahdan. Fa inni. For verily I. A'ataitu. Allah, I have given God Ahdan a promise. Ahd a promise. I have given God a promise or a covenant. Covenant. In Ra'aituhu, if I see him and Aqtulahu, so I have given God a promise that if I see him and Aqtulahu, I will kill him. Aw Amuta Dunahu or die trying. Or die trying. You say get rich or die trying. Kun gani yen amut dunahu. Be rich or die trying. Aw amuta dunahu. Aw die trying. Wa qala li al akharu. Okay, so that is what he said to the first brother said. He said to him, Arini, Arini, he show me, show him, show him to me, show me Abu Jahl so that I will. I've, I've already promised God that because he insults the Prophet وسلم, I will kill him. Okay. وَقَالَ لِي الْآخَرُ الْآخَرُ The other. So the other brother وَقَالَ لِي وَقَالَ لِي الْآخَرُ And the other brother said to me وَقَالَ لِي So it can be وَقَالَ لِي وَقَالَ لِي They are both okay. وَقَالَ لِي الْآخَرُ And the other said to me he also said in secrecy, he said that the other brother wouldn't hear. So this on the right said in secrecy and this also said in secrecy. He also said, Arinihi, I show me Abu Jahl, referring to Abu Jahl. Arinihi Ya'am, show me Abu Jahl, O uncle. So he, he said, Fa inni ahatu Allah. Ahatu is like saying, Aataitu Allah ahden. Ahatu Allah. It's like saying, "A'atayt Allah ahdan." A'atayt Allah ahdan. I have given God a covenant, or I have given God a promise. A'hat Allah. I have promised God. I have promised God something, or I have taken a covenant with God. Okay, and then he says, "In ayantuhu." You see, they are giving us um, synonyms. Said that we have a lot of vocabularies for one thing. Ayantuhu is like ra'aytuhu. Ayana is from ayn. Ayana to see. So in Ayan too, that is if I set my eyes on him and Abdurabahu be safe, I'll beat, I'll strike him with my sword. Safe. Safe is sword. So I've promised God that if I should see Abu Jahal, I will hit him with my sword and finish him. Hatta aqtulahu until I kill him. Hatta aqtulahu until I kill him. So because of the hatta, the aqtul took fatah here. Hatta aqtula, who the who is a pronoun attached to it to refer to Abu Jahl. So hatta aqtula who. So he says, Fabaina here Abdul Rahman bin Auf is continuing. So he says, Fabaina ana kadalik. Baina is like saying Fabaina ma ana kadalik. Baina whilst so Fabaina so whilst. Ana kadalik, I was like that. So it's an expression to mean. Fabaina ana kadalik, generally means, whilst we were in that situation, whilst I was in that position. Is, is baraza. Is is to show. Something happening like, sudden. Like you say, fatah tul bab, is al abu mawjud. I open the door, then here the father is in the room. <clears throat> it's to show something happening like sudden. So whilst you were in that situation, then Baraza, I Zohara, to appear. Baraza Abu Jahlin. Then Abu Jahl appeared. Okay. He says, Fakulutu. Then I said, Ala Tarayan. He said to the two boys, Ala Tarayan. Do you not see? Haza, do you not see? It says, Haza Abu Jahlin. 
This is Abu Jahl. Haza, haza sahibukum. This is the one you are searching for. This expression sahibukum here, let's not get it to mean this is your companion because sahib is companion, friend, or all those meanings. But here haza sahibukum means this is the fellow you are searching for. This is the guy you are searching for. It says for shadda, shadda means to, to, um, kind of tighten somebody. Shadda, tighten something. Okay, so for shadda here, for shadda alayhi, they kind of um, jump to him, kind of jumped on him, uh, kind of um, went with that fierce um, attack. He attacked him. For shadda alayhi, they they both attacked him. Mithla sokrain, like two um, two eagles. They both attacked him like two eagles. Hatta dorabahu, until they hit him. Hatta dorabahu, until they both hit him. Thumman sorafa, in sorafa, the alif we are seeing here to show that the two is two. Because if it's one, summan in sorafa. We see here, shadda, there's alif here. To show there are two. If it is one, shadda, for shadda alayhi. But because there are two, you say for shadda alayhi. Mithla sukrain. Hatta he says dorabahu, not dorabahu. Dorabahu, to show there are two. He says summa in sorafa, summa in sorafa. Then they left. In sorafa means to leave. Summa in sorafa ila nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then they left to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fa'akhbarahu. You see the alif here again. Fa'akhbarahu. And they both informed him. Fa'qala. And he said. Ayyukuma qatalahu. Which of you killed him? Ayyukuma. If they were plural. He says. Ayyukum. Plural. But because there are two. He says. Ayyukuma qatalahu. Which of you killed him? Qala. Kullu minhuma. Each of them said, Kola Kulun Minhuma. Each of them, the two of them said, Ana Katal Tuhu, I killed him. Each of the boys said, I killed him. Kala, then the Prophet said, Hal Masahtuma Saifaikuma, have you wiped your swords? That is after hitting him, have you wiped your swords off the blood? Masaha is to wipe something off. Kala, they said, they both said, La, no, we haven't. Fanazara Nabiyu, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Fis Saifain. So the Prophet looked at the two swords. Fakala, and he said, Kilahuma Qatalahu. Both swords killed him. Because there were blood on both swords. He says, Both swords killed Abu Jahl. Okay, this brings us to the end of this lesson, too. I hope we pick our vocabularies. And then we try to put them in practice always. Read the lesson over again to make sure the vocabulary is thick. Thank you very much. Till we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All the best.